Hello students, in this particular video, we will try to understand what is actually a law of conservation of momentum. As you know, what is momentum? Momentum is a quantity that basically depends on mass of an object and the velocity of the object. So what is momentum? Momentum is nothing, it is just the product of mass and the velocity. A quantity that depends on mass as well as velocity. Okay, so what do you mean by conservation? Conservation is something that's... Uh, that is basically you have also here na conservation of energy what it is it is it is it, it states that energy can not be created nor be destroyed but it can be transferred from one form to another form similarly by when i say the law of conservation of momentum there is a law in which the momentum is conserved there is a condition okay so what is the condition here the momentum conserved only when the external force on particular system is zero will be zero Okay, so what is the conservation of momentum? So the conservation of momentum is means basically the momentum initially when the system is something and when it is acted by upon some force, then the final momentum is something. So the initial momentum will be equal to the final momentum. That is all about, okay. If there is net force is zero. If the external force or you can say net force will be zero. So this is all about the conservation of momentum, okay. So what is law? Let us understand what is law. If let's say let what is law? Law is something like Newton's demonstrated that if any external force acting on a system is zero, okay, we are talking about an external force, the total momentum of the system remains constant, okay, and the total momentum of the system of the ball, of the balls is the same before, if we are, if you are taking the example of balls, we will take the example of the ball, so when we talk about the balls, so the total momentum of the system of balls is the same before and after the collision. Let's say we will just verify this law if we have taken these two balls. Let's say if I have taken something this ball and something another ball. Let's say this is uh, the ball of mass m1, this is the ball of mass m2 and when they collide there is a change in momentum. So the initial momentum of the ball will always be equal to the final momentum. This is all about the law of conservation of momentum. Okay, so we will verify it. Don't worry. Okay. So here, as you can see, these two apples, we can also take the example of anything. Let's say these two apples, these two apples are just colliding with each other. So there will be a change in momentum. Na? Okay. So if this particular law, what it says, if it says that if there is not an external force, external force is zero, then these, the linear momentum will be conserved here. Okay. So we will just verify this particular thing. Okay. Okay. Now let us come to an example. Now, let us consider two bodies collide with each other last the collision lasting 40 seconds. Okay, so their velocities will change obviously. So I have the, this particular figure. Okay, now consider this M1 body is moving with velocity U1. Okay, and this M2 body is moving with initial velocity, let's say U2. This is particularly the case of <coughs> collision that is before collision. Okay, okay, at particular, let's say when U2, when U2, when this U2 will be less than this U1, then obviously they will collide each other because the velocity of U, U1 is greater than U2. So they will collide each other. So let us take this condition when the collision occurs. So this is basically the condition when the collision occurs. Okay. So when these two bodies collide each other, they will, uh, uh, they will impose some force on each other. That is the internal force. Okay. So what it will look like, like, like this, this is the ball mass of M, this this is the ball of mass m2 let's say when this strikes okay so this ball will apply some force on this ball like this this is basically the force on 2 due to 1 similarly this ball 2 will apply some force on this uh, 1 okay so this will be force on 1 because of 2 so this is f12 and this is f21 okay remember this this is what is this this is f12 it means that force which is acting on body 1 by the 2 because of 2 and this is the force acting on body 2 by 1 and as you can see the direction of these 2's are opposite so what I will write by Newton's third law I can write that is minus of f21 remember this this is this will be true now f12 is equal to minus of f21 this will be true okay by because they are action reaction pairs and after they collide they will separate each other and their velocities will change here the momentum is something different here the momentum is different because velocity is changing mass is not changing i have taken mass as a constant okay so the velocity of this m1 has become v1 and the velocity of this m2 has become v2 okay now what i'm going to do i will just put the value of the force the two forces okay so what is force force is nothing it is the rate of change of momentum okay let's say this 
mass m1 is moving initially with velocity u2 but finally it is moving with velocity z1 so what is the rate of change of momentum okay of this particular mass m1 i am writing this case for mass m1 okay so that will be initially it is moving with u1 but finally it is moving with v1 so the change in velocity is m1 v1 my sorry the change in momentum will be this u1 upon t when i divide by t i get the rate of change and this will particularly give me the force that is acting on this particular mass one because of this okay similarly i can write f21 the force which is acting on the two because of one okay so that has changed the velocity of two okay so the momentum change is m2 v2 minus m2 u2 upon t okay so this will like and as you know these forces are equal okay but they have a negative sign between them so here i can write f12 is equal to minus of f21 okay and if i am going to write the value of these two what i will get i will get this m1 v1 upon t minus m1 u1 is equal to minus of this m2 v2 minus m2 u2 upon t okay here this t and t will cancel out each other okay what we will get we will get i am just rubbing this okay i hope you have written this i am rubbing this i am rubbing this okay i am rubbing this okay okay so what we will get we will get further i am writing here okay what i will get i will get m1 v1 minus m1 u1 is equal to minus m2 v2 plus m2 u2 okay and when i separate them i have just just transferring this to there and this to here what i get i get m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to m2 u2 plus m1 u1 okay as you can see this particular equation this is the total initial momentum of these two masses okay m1 u1 plus m2 u2 you can say m1 u1 plus m2 u2 this is the initial mass initial momentum and this is final momentum m1 v1 plus m2 u2 both are coming equal so this is how we can say the momentum has conserved okay so this is particular the verification of this particular law of conservation of momentum okay so when there is an external force that is zero so you can say the momentum always conserved that has newton has given to us okay so i hope you have understood